Perfect region. Perfect. Hear that? Someone thinks I'm perfect. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome back to another Sunday edition of Dayton Dissects. This is a game called Race the Sun. It is a flight simulation or driving simulation. Hover simulation, that's it. Where you don't have any competition really, but you are racing the sun. You're in a solar powered craft, and when the sun goes down, it's all over for you. The maps are changed every single day, which is amazingly fantastic. The game will never really be abandoned. I'm not sure if the maps are randomly generated or if somebody lovingly handcrafts them, but either way, it's it's much appreciated. I think it's only the first four levels or so that repeat themselves. But if you can make it past the four levels every time, then, then you're just in, an insane genius. And I want to shake your hand. So... You can get different power-ups for your ship, which I really like. Right now I have a magnet, so I don't have to directly hit the crystals. I can just kind of crash into them. Oh, feed me bird poop! Ah, mm, um, 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 um. Ooh, barrel roll. Do a barrel roll! This one looks like halfway down. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, 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 I hate it! Okay, it's fine. You gotta get that thing. Oh, wow. Did we get it? I'm not sure we got it. <gasps> this game is so much fun. Uh, so, your score is submitted. The world will reset in three hours. Here's the ship configuration I was talking about. Right now I have a magnet uh, and jump storage. Or jump storage. You can basically only have one or the other. These are my stats! 59 rounds played! Oh yeah. 4 million lifetime points. Haven't unlocked any decals. Guess I gotta do a little better. It also features workshop support. Just in case you get tired of playing a new level every single freaking day, you can download levels that somebody else has made. So, that's, that's quite awesome. This game offers a ton of options. And a ton of fun for very, very, very little money. And I would suggest anyone go pick it up. You don't like racing games? That's fine. It's like, not really a racing game. It's zen. Oh, oh. See, I didn't die from hitting that thing. But you will drop your multiplier for uh, scraping the ship up. Because your boss doesn't like it. Just kidding. No boss, no storyline. I just made up the storyline. Wanna hear it? Great. So, you know, a spaceship piloting on this desert planet, it's not Tatooine, but it is in the same solar system. And you're supposed to deliver this crate of Cuban cigars to the other side of the planet. The only problem being that your boss has no money for gas, so he's invented a solar power craft in order to uh, help you propel your way. Oh, I missed the jump boost. The sun's setting. It's gonna be so bad. Feed me poop! Feed me poop! <laughs> the only other game you say that in is Binding of Isaac. Welcome to Region 2! Oh, I wanted that thing. Oh, I want the other thing! Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I have so much fun with this game. Get that! Yeah! Boom, boom, boom! Uh oh. Ooh! A warp! Portal World! Now, this is why I said flying. It is totally Star Fox Simulator. Which is great because there hasn't been a good Star Fox game in a very, very long time. So I will take this even if there's nothing to shoot. You just dodge asteroids. It's the asteroid level forever! Barrel rolls do nothing. Swoop. I mean, you don't have to go through those little things, but you just feel like such an ace when you do. Like, whoa, you see that? It was so close. If I was, uh, like a fighter pilot, I'd probably do that all the time. And it would be the best two weeks of my life. Because I would die fairly quickly. I think. You also have to have a college degree. <laughs> Could do it. I haven't done it. 
Nope, nope. Ah, oh, they're feeding me poop! Wonderful. The sun looks a lot higher, too. <laughs> Woo! Region 3! Here we come, baby. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, shit! This is chaos. You kind of have to go into Zen mode and, uh, like, plot your path way ahead of time. Oh my god, there's nothing. Oh, fart! How did I... I can't get up there. I haven't gotten a jump boost yet. There's a jump! Woo! Alright, we're good. Yay! Whoa. That was mean. A mean trick, Mr. Block. Ah. Uh. Oh, what is that? That is an upgrade that I've legitimately never gotten before. I'm excited to learn all about it. Oh my god! Why did this... What happened? What? What? <laughs> There's so much to this game that I've never even seen or fathomed. I just barely made it through there. This is so intense. Oh, it's hard to talk. Okay. We're good. We're so good. Look how high that sun is. Look at that nuclear explosion that we just narrowly avoided. I'm sure I'm irradiated to hell. But my boss pays me pretty good. Oh, God. No, we're good. We're fine. Perfect region. Perfect. Hear that? Someone thinks I'm perfect. Oh, the clouds block the sun. So you can slow down if you get behind cloud cover. Holy crap. Oh my god. Everything's fine. Everything is awesome. Okay. Alright. Woo woo. The sun's going away. Fart. Fart. Fart! Come back, son! Come back! We need you! Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. So this has been Race the Sun, everybody. And another date and dissect. Pretty simple game to dissect, if you ask me. But it does offer more than meets the eye. Transformers! <laughs> So I hope you guys will join me for the next one. I would also like to thank, um... Jack Newsom. He has a Twitch username, NoGoSolo1234, and he left a very nice comment on one of my videos, which I will start featuring a comment of the week on each Sunday's end slate. I hope you guys will look forward to that, and hopefully uh, leave some nice comments of your own, because I do respond to them all. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Race the Sun. I've been Brandon Dayton. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.